welcome back to another Friday Reviews video and today this review is going to be a little bit different than usual. Um, so yeah, usually I, I like a lot of movies uh, and people have said that, oh, do you know, do you dislike any movies, yada yada yada. And yeah, I do dislike movies sometimes, but it is rarely. It's rare that I give a movie two and a half stars or below. Um, that's kind of uh, just a rare occasion. Uh, but it does happen and usually if I give a movie like less than three stars I'm not going to review it unless of course maybe it's one that I picked up Monday Movie Hunting or you know, if it's a new release then I'm reviewing it anyway. Um, but even then usually I pick up new releases on the day I get them because I, I'm pretty sure I'm really going to like them so that isn't doesn't happen very often. Now this movie however I decided to go ahead and review even though my thoughts are pretty poor uh, but it's funny it's I, I, I just thought like, yes I can do a Friday reviews on this so basically I'm going to be talking about sex tape with Cameron Diaz and Jason Siegel. Yes okay so this movie hasn't been out that long so it's kind of a it's not a new release but it hasn't been out too long and I hadn't heard great things about this movie which was fine I wasn't expecting too much from the movie but I decided to give it a chance because well I actually really like Cameron Diaz um you know I wasn't sure how she'd be with um as Miss Hannigan in Annie and I then kind of warmed to her she's not my favorite Miss Hannigan but I warmed to her and I enjoyed her I liked her character I thought she did a good job I loved her in The Other Woman which is another kind of more recent movie of hers and you know I just I've loved her like you know in the past I think the first thing I don't remember what the first thing I saw her in, but I, you know, I've really enjoyed Cameron Diaz for years, and you know, her new movies I've been really enjoying. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go, even though the concept was just kind of really bizarre, and I was like, okay, but we'll go with it. We'll see if it's funny. Okay, this movie, I gave the movie one and a half stars. Um, it was just, it just wasn't, it wasn't good. Uh, the one and a half stars. Why did it get one and a half stars? Um, I think Cameron Diaz actually wasn't awful in this movie. Like she was fine. Like she wasn't too bad. She didn't annoy me in this. I was like, oh yeah, okay. She was probably the only good acting in the movie. I would say. I mean, some people might argue she wasn't. It was definitely nowhere near her best. We'll say that. But she wasn't like poor awful. But she wasn't great. Um, so you know, I I appreciate you kind of her bit of it. Um, secondly. For a bad movie, I wasn't like, oh, I want to turn this off, this is annoying, this is boring, this is driving me insane. It didn't do that, it was just, it was kind of laughable, and that's kind of what kept me watching. Like, I watched the whole thing, and some movies that I've given one and a half stars, and I think, oh, I wish I didn't watch the whole thing. But with this one, I don't feel that way. It was just so bizarrely strange at times, that I was like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm glad I watched that, so it gets, you know, that bit. And also, there's this little bit when they're in the car so obviously well basically the premise is the two of them they're married now they have two kids and you know their sex life's kind of gone out the window so they decide to film a sex tape on uh, the ipad um that's basically the concept um so they have this these two children like i said they've got an older boy and a little girl and one time they're in the car with this little girl and this is this one scene this is probably my favorite bit as well so uh, it's not really a spoiler because it's at the beginning and I'm sure you don't really care. Um, so she little girl's in the back and she says, you know, why do we keep having all these days? And I was like, what? She says, yeah, these days, over and over, when are these days going to end? I don't know, she goes on about like, you know, the day. She gets up and does the day and then goes to bed and gets the day. And it was actually quite cute. It wasn't hilarious, but I thought that bit was kind of cute. Uh, and that was kind of about all. But, um, so this movie is very much an Apple commercial movie and I've heard people say that and I was like oh I won't mind it, I won't mind it I don't mind product placement in movies, it doesn't really bother me and Apple I'm a big fan of, I've got an iPod and you know iPhone and Apple stuff um, and you know I've never really had too much of a problem with it like some people have I do have a Mac that I did have some problems with that I had a really long time ago um, but now it works again magically so I've never had a big Apple problem, I like Apple and I'm yay Apple um, so I wasn't, didn't think I was going to mind it um, however it's it's in a, such a weird, the acting's bad, like Jason Siegel, I like him usually, and he wasn't good in this movie at all, I don't know what's happened to him, he looked very, he looked like he was having some problems, like he actually looked very, I don't know how to explain it, he just wasn't looking well in the movie, and you kind of thought, oh gosh, like, you know, what's, what's wrong with him, he looks, uh, something's not right with him, and then there's this one point, where the iPad gets thrown out the window, okay? And the iPad goes out the window, lands on the ground, like not just a, it's like a bedroom window. Gets thrown out the window, lands on the ground, lands on the grass. Jason Siegel goes outside, picks up the iPad, and he says something about, oh, you know, the iPad's fine, the iPad hasn't had any problems. And he says something about how, like, oh, great, these iPads, you know, uh, they're so durable, I don't know what he says. And then I know full well if I 
I, I don't have an iPad, but say I did, if I threw my iPad out the window, it's gonna break, like the screen will crack. I've seen so many people with um, cracked iPhone screens and I don't know, I like Apple, I don't mind, but still, you're never gonna throw an iPad out the window and it'd be all right, so that was just silly. Um, and then also, there's this scene, the scene that really got me. So basically, you know, I've told you the concept, but then what has happened is Jason Siegel, he, he's a man of, he likes to keep up with his iPads, he gets them free from work, I think, I don't know. And then the ones he doesn't use, he gives away to friends. And then they're all connected to the iCloud, right? And, you know, he's basically then given one to Cameron Diaz's new boss, just as of recent. And then they have to go around to his house and get the iPad back, you know, because this film, this tape they've filmed on the iPad is now on everybody else's iPad. So they're like, oh my god, we've got to get the iPads back, right? They go around to her boss's house and it is the weirdest, like, sequence of, like, with her and her boss, I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. But with Jason Siegel, he goes off to try and find the iPad and then there's this dog. And the dog's chasing him around. And it's honestly, I can't explain it. It doesn't sound weird, but it's such a weird little sequence. And then at one point, uh, actually, I said this to my mum. I said, oh, I gave the movie one and a half stars. She said, oh, why did you give the movie one and a half stars? And I said, well, for one thing, in this movie, a dog opens a door. Like, he's locked inside a room and he opens the door. And my mum went, yeah, but dogs can open doors. <laughs> Which is true. Like, okay, yeah, I know some people who have dogs that open doors and then they, like, break the doors. But, like, it just looked so ridiculous. Honestly, he's on the outside, like, oh, my God, I've got away from the dog, I've got away from the dog. And the dog's there, ha like, using the door handle, and then he's there, like, Whoa. Like, it's so weird. It's so stupid. It's so silly. Um, yes, yeah, so I gave me one half stars. It was weird. It was kind of silly. And then the end... Um, I just, I don't know, I, I won't ruin it if you want to watch it, but the thing is, I wouldn't say, oh my god, don't watch it at all, like, if you want to watch a bad movie, now, it's not one of those bad movies that is good, it's not one of those, but if you want to watch a bad movie and, like, think, haha, this is a bad movie, it's quite good for that, because it's not like, oh, you want to, like, chop your arm off, kind of, in bad, I don't, that, what was that, you know what I mean, what is the saying, that's not the saying, um, you know when something's really bad and you got to sit through it and I don't know the saying. There is one though and that's definitely not it. But anyway, um, it's not like that awful, it's just kind of laughable. So if you want a laughable bad movie, this is it. But Jason Siegel, I do not know what happened to him in this film. It was so, oh god, anyway, but you know, I'm, I'm not just sad that I spent, how long is this movie? Uh, an hour and a half watching it, you know, it was... It was just one and a half stars though, it was just silly and I didn't really enjoy it but I was able to laugh at it and be like what even is going on in this movie? Um, so yeah, that's Sex Tape, that is kind of my bad review, even my bad review wasn't that mean. Obviously I'm not cut out to be super mean but yeah, I'd give it one and a half stars. So yes, let me know down in the comments below if you have seen this movie and what you thought of it. Maybe you really enjoyed it, I don't think anyone's really enjoyed this though but you know, you never know. Um, so yeah, until then guys, I'll see you next time, thanks so much for watching this Friday Reviews, thumbs up if you enjoyed these reviews on Fridays and I'll see you then, goodbye!